back to our Chicago. I'm Liz Nagy. Today marks 21 years since the 9-11 terror attacks. So what are the threats we face today? We're talking more about that with Tom Brady. He's the associate dean of the Public Services Division and the director of the Homeland Security Training Institute at the College of DuPage. And before the break, we were talking about lone wolves, Tom. But I want to ask you, do you believe they are really lone? Are many of these people often plugged into some sort of extremist organization? Yeah, and almost every occasion in an attack by a lone wolf, there's what I consider to be leakage, um, or someone someone had suspicions that this person was exhibiting strange behavior. You know, we have seen where a violent act uh, occurs, and neighbors or coworkers may say, "If anyone was going to do this, it was him going to be him or her." And, and why do they say that? They, they say that because they know of some behavior that this, they've aver observed from this person that uh, there was it was unusual behavior and that's what we need to be focused on we need to be identifying these red flags if you will and 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 getting people help saying something you know doing something to get someone help and sometimes if if you step in and you can help someone um and get them the the right help and assistance they need you can prevent the violent act and, and that's really what we should be focused on so what can we in the public everyday people going about our lives do to help law enforcement possibly identify these threats before they happen well i think as i mentioned before you know the red flags we need to look for those it's things such as violent talk or rhetoric from someone someone's views have changed radically um, a person has become withdrawn and sullen compared to what they normally act like someone is is uh torturing animals there's just a, this 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 behavior that just is not normal you know inappropriate jokes related to mass shootings things like that those are the red flags i talk about and those are the things that we need to either um relate to law enforcement or if it's a family member um talking to the person and getting them help i think if we do more proactive intervention we can help these people and we can make sure that we keep ourselves safer but it's all going to be um, kind of on us to do what we can to assist law enforcement in, in this in this aspect. And so on the back end, you are dealing a lot with training members of that law enforcement. So can you tell us who you are training at the Homeland Security Institute and what you're doing with law enforcement agencies in that training? So we train first responders such as law enforcement officers, firefighters, paramedics, and we have a lot of programs uh, um, associated with those things where students can get degrees. But we also treat members, our, our, our trained members of the public um, and uh, private sector companies have, have been working with us on making sure they're protected from any type of mass shootings at their locations. Um, schools, we work with a lot of school administrators to ensure that they are aware of, of things that may indicate a, a, a potential mass shooting and what to do in the event that that happens. So we have a lot of different groups that come to the college for training and, and we try to make sure that we give everything we can to ensure that they understand how to react in these situations because again there's no there's no, there's no uh book that you can go by and and and, and use that as a step by step but being reactive and being uh, observant is, is something that we tell everyone is is going to be very helpful to to keep everyone safe you mentioned training for mass shootings is that the biggest thing that you concentrate on that's different than you were focusing on 21 years ago you know, it depends on what's going on in the country. We get a lot of requests for if there's if there's mass shootings going on. We get a lot of calls for training by either community groups or uh, uh, private sector agencies um, or school administrations. Um, we've been doing a lot of that lately, and we have simulators at the college that we use to to help these people identify situations that may be uh, unusual uh, and what to report and how to report it and what to do. And I think if we prepare people better we're going to have a better response or, or, or we can prevent something from happening. And that's that's the goal of the Homeland Security Training Institute at the College of DuPage is, is to train students to be successful, um, train law enforcement and first responders and firefighters to go out there and do their jobs better. Uh, and we're constantly doing that on a regular basis. And certainly that training changes every day and gets updated every year. Tom Brady with the Homeland Security Institute at the College of DuPage. Thank you so much for spending a little time with us this morning. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.